All right, it is a game changer for me. I've done the test. I'm going to show you in this video, but I tell you one thing, it's going to change my whole process on refining wine. Don't miss this video. Stay tuned and click that subscribe button and let's just get right into this. And we know the change, the change will surely come. Baby, one more trip around the sun. So welcome back to the channel. I got something special today because we're gonna test refining agents on this mango wine. This is a three gallon batch. I'm gonna put this into three one gallon carboys. We're gonna do some time lapsing on this and show you which one clears the best, which one clears the quickest. All right, and here's our contestants. We got Liquor Quick by Super Clear KC. We got Bentonate, my favorite. And we're gonna try bananas to filter this wine. Is this gonna work? I can't wait to test it, because if this is a winner, I'm all about natural ways to refine your wine, but if this works, it's gonna put the bentonite out of business. Remember, I always say, don't rush winemaking. You wanna take your time. But a lot of people are excited. They wanna test their first batch of wine, and I understand that, I was the same way. But let's see which one of these can do it the quickest for the people that don't want to wait. Patience is a virtue in winemaking. I'll probably stick with my bentonite, but let's just see how these contenders do. Now you all know, I love bentonite. I use this for every single wine I've ever made. I don't deviate from it because it just works that great. All right, our first contestant is my favorite, the bentonite. Let's get a, a slurry mixed up because that's what you want to use when you do when you're using bentonite. So I got a quarter cup of warm water and I got one teaspoon of bentonite that we're gonna add in here. And then all we're gonna do is mix this up into a slurry. And I won't bore you with this, but I'll mix this for a couple minutes until it gets like milkshake consistency. And then we'll get it added to our carboy. So we got the bentonite mixed up, but one of the other subscribers suggesting you take a banana an organic banana, because you just want to, you know, we're going to boil this in some water and simmer it. So I'm just going to take a half a banana and I'm going to cut the end off here. And I'm just going to slice this up just like that. All right, we got some water. It's starting to boil there, but I got our chopped up half banana. I hope this works because I, oh my goodness, one got away there. I hope this works because a lot of you ask for the natural way to do stuff. Everybody's got bananas around, right? So we'll just cover this up and let this go simmer for about 15 minutes. So there we go. I just got the bananas off the stove. After 15 minutes, we're just going to let them simmer in here until it's cold to room temperature, and then we can get it added to our wine. All right, so that's it. We got our bentonite mixture mixed in here. Let's just add it to one of my carboys here. This is the bentonite bottle, and we're just going to rack our wine directly into this. All right, so we got our three gallon jug here. We're trying now to get it into our other individual one gallon bottle. So we're going to take the airlock. My first one I got down in here is the one that's got the bentonite in because I just want to add it. I always add it at the bottom just because it'll help mix it as we're racking. So let's get this siphon going. There we go. So that's that. We'll get this one added and then I'll fast forward and we'll do the rest for the other two, the banana and then that two part Cheeto sand, kill us all, quick liquor clear, something like that. So there you go. We got our three gallon mango wine into three individual one gallons. So we can add this other stuff and start testing this. All right, this is the liquor quick. Now this Casillasol and this Cheetah Sand, apparently it's a very natural product. It's basically made from crushed up shells out of the ocean. So now let me read the package on this liquor quick or super clear because 
It's a two-stage process. You can see here it's two parts, one side and one side is the other. It says, add the kilosol. I don't know if I'm ever saying that right. I don't know. Get this corner cut off. Hopefully not make a mess. And let's just add it up here. So there we go. That's about half. So we'll wait an hour before we add the Cheeto sand, but it says to stir it up at this point. So that's what I'm gonna do. It also is a disclaimer on there. It says it will not clear up pectic haze. So that's why we use pectic enzyme in all of my recipes. So here we go. We're gonna add, stir in that Kilosol a little bit. It says to stir it vigorously. So that's what we'll do. Stir this for about a minute, reverse direction. And then in one hour, we'll come back and add that Cheeto sand. There we go. All right, we got our banana mixture. Oh, you can see the bananas in there. We're gonna just strain this to get the bananas out. I don't need all this juice to top all this. So we'll just, that's good enough before I overfill it. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna get this airlock. This is the banana, the one here in the middle. So I'm just gonna take our banana mixture. Look at that, it's kind of purple. And I'm just gonna fill it up here to where I like the level to be. So I think that's pretty good. I like to do it right where it starts to stop curling here because we want to keep oxygen out. We'll put a little bit more in there. There we go, that's good. We'll get this airlock temporarily on here. I gotta sanitize these, I already did, but I want to do it before I go too far. So now I also, I got my sanitized stick here. We want to stir that banana up a little bit. We don't want anything unfair in this test. So we'll stir this up. Now while we're at it, we want to stir the one that's got the bentonite in also. We want to get that suspended. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to stir each one of these for the first two days, except for the one that says quick clear. It doesn't say to do that, but for bentonite, I like to get these particles charged up and that's what we're gonna do, at least stir it today and tomorrow yet. All right, we added part one there, that casilosol. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but next we gotta add the Cheeto sand and it says to add it at least an hour after that. So it says take a tablespoon of water, which I already put in here of uh, warm water. And then again, since we're only doing a one gallon batch, we're only gonna use half of this. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and that should be good. And then we're just gonna stir this up. And then it says slowly over 30 seconds, add it to the, uh, the part one mixture of the wine. So let's get the airlock on in here. And it says to add this very slowly. So give me 30 seconds to add that. I think that's pretty slow. <laughs> I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch all this, but assume it's gonna take me a minute. There we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and then I'm also gonna add it to the bentonite because I wanna get these about the same level as this one over here. So let's just add a little bit to this one, the two part. And now let's just bring the bentonite up to the level I want. I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. Perfect. Now, since we didn't stir this two-part one, I wanna just gently do that right now. That's the only one left that we didn't stir. We added that second part a few seconds ago. So we're just gonna mix it up a little bit. And that's it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get everything sanitized again, my airlocks, and I'm gonna do a time-lapse of this, which I can't wait to show you because it's going to be fun to see this over the next few days. Day one. All right, look at this. It's only been about seven hours. You can see the one on the right here, the super clear. It is getting, you can almost see your hand through it. A close second is the bentonite on the left. It doesn't look like much happened on the banana, but I can't believe it after seven hours. All right, this is no joke. It's been 18 hours. Look at this super clear. You can actually see your hand through it already. I tell you one thing, it's beating the bentonite 
by a little bit. You can see the bentonite one here is clearing, but the one the banana is not doing too much yet. We're going to give this a stir. Remember, I always like to stir my bentonite to charge it up twice, but it's pretty clear so far. So we're just going to give this a stir because I like to break up that extra bentonite that might still be in that bottle. So let's stir it here. All right, let's stir the banana one. It's actually starting to clear out, but I, I'm not sure the banana is really doing too much. Let's give it a stir. Make sure that banana juice is mixed in for sure. Now the super clear doesn't say you have to stir it, so I'm not going to let it go. 24 hours. Look at that super clear. I tell you, I almost could rack that by now. We're still going to keep going. At least I put my money down on it. Starting to see my hand through the bentonite, that's doing its job. But this one over here, the super clear, is ready to be racked. Banana, not much action on there. We're starting to see a little sediment at the bottom, but bentonite is second. All right, this is the final video. I've seen enough. The test is over. I've had enough. I've seen enough. There is a clear winner on this, and it's a game changer for me. So let's just eliminate one of these contestants right off the get-go. Say goodbye to banana. Banana doesn't work great for refining. It may be good once you have a pectic enzyme issue where that you still have hazen in your wine. That may help but not for this part that I want to talk about. So we're down to the bentonite and this super clear. And I think you can probably see the difference. This is the bentonite side. This is the super clear. The clear winner is super clear. Look at that. After 24 hours, I would have racked and bottled this wine. And it's changing my whole process. I'm going to do a whole separate video of what I'm going to do now. And it's a lot how I did it in making that wine kit. This is a winner, 24 hours. If you want to wait a little longer, this bentonite will take 7 to 30 days to clear. I mean, it's starting to clear after about a week of testing, but it certainly is not as clear as this one, as you can see. This, 7 to 30 days, 24 hours for refining your wine. Don't rush winemaking. Go with bentonite. If you want to speed it up a little bit, try this super clear. Again, I'll have links in the description for this stuff. It was a great test. Thank you for swinging by and watching this. And until next time, have a great day and a great weekend. I want to get this now finished up. It's the mango wine. Yeah, cause me, I love is I can only